Hello everyone, my name is Tony Kobnaba Anyemedu. I'm a metallurgical engineer from Ghana with about 32 years experience in the four mining districts of the world, including Australia, Africa, Latin America, and North America. I want to talk to you today about an exciting project called the Amira Africa Center of Excellence for full value scale mineral processing, which we would want to put in Ghana to serve West Africa and Africa in general. I will give you about five aspects of this program. First, a backstory, a quick one. I was a technical manager at Amandabolt Platinum, one of Anglo Platinum's mines, which in 2004 was the single biggest platinum producing mine in the world. There's something happened with one of our equipment and it broke, so we needed to fix it. But we found that the original equipment manufacturers were in Norway and this would have taken us easily four to eight weeks to get the parts. So we went to the eastern side of Johannesburg in a place called Krugersdorp and we got some lovely work service by some technicians who are actually a legacy of the mining training and, and apprenticeship program. The mining company that trained them had completely finished their gold because of course it's a non-renewable natural resource. But the, the effect, the good effect of the training had survived and actually assisted other mining companies as well as many manufacturing and agri companies. So this is the backstory we are talking about, that if we put a very good concerted and world-class training facility well instrumented and state of the art. The legacy of this kind of investment will go and outlive all of us. This is about time. After over 100 years of mining in West Africa, this is about time. So what is this? It is going to be a three-place physical infrastructure, with the main infrastructure being at Oboasi Industrial Park, which Anglo Gold Ashanti has created, not just for ourselves, but also for other suppliers of equipment and commodities in the mining industry. So at this place, we have designed the most state-of-the-art realistic plant with the size, scope and scale, which you get to know why later in terms of the different value centers we want to do there. But principal among this is the skills transfer at the various levels, from operator training to process control room operators to um, professional development courses to masters and PhD students who want to collect their data from this place and so on. It's a very exciting place. It will be very well instrumented to enable process control remotely as well as virtual training. And, and the people who are involved with this include data scientists, computer scientists, electrical engineers, in addition to the traditional geology, mining, process engineers. We have formed a consortium, a West African Research Consortium, made up of over 12 professors and doctors in the current institutions, including UMAT, KNUST, CSIR, and the University of Ghana, and counting. What will we do at this place? As I said, there will be training, but it will also have the size and scope to be able to do toll refining, toll treatment, as well as assist in new projects and not just gold, but it will be set up to actually equip itself to do all the new critical minerals flow sheet development from beginning to end. And in fact, from this place, you would have not just the analysis and you would also have competent persons report coming out of here and you have designs of plants and engineering drawing as well as cost in terms of CAPEX and OPEX optimization. Uh, so this is new and this is a different scale. And it's been enabled by our association with Amira, which started as Australian Mineral Industry Research Association, but currently is really global. I look after Africa for Amira, and I also wear the hat of Global Min a Vice President for Mineral Processing. We think this is a good initiative, and because of this, we have got the buy-in of two key groups of people. All the Vice Chancellors and Senior Managers of all the the different universities and CSIR, number one. And then number two, we've got a crack team of technical advisory board made up of 
current and past executive vice presidents, managing directors of some of the plants in Ghana. And we are also, of course, looking for uh, to build up the team with people from Burkina Faso and Guinea and Mali and the rest of West Africa. But we've started with a very strong team in Ghana. Our, some of our partners include the Minerals Commission as well as the Chamber of Mines. Um, there is a lot of programs that are being planned there, but of course, we are looking for assistance with the funding to be able to establish this. Where are we now? We are already quite advanced. We've already done the, some of the intellectual part of the work by having meetings with the research consortium and setting up the program, number one. Number two, we have engaged some of the process engineering companies in Ghana, and we are quite far advanced with the initial concept design, number two. Number three, with assistance from Anglo Gold Ashanti, we already have a 17-acre service plot um, at Oboase with extra site that where we are going to put our solar panels to be able to influence the mix of the energy. Now, what are we going to do there? As I said, all the uh, professors and doctors and every, all the researchers, key researchers, will be doing practical work in this place, number one. Number, and training, of course, people in, in postgraduate as well as undergraduate actual realistic data, number one. Number two, there will be research enablement there. And I'll link with the external universities who have already raised up their hands. And these include key big ones like Colorado, Colorado School of Mines, Columbia University in New York, University of Queensland, in, and, and so many. Amara already works with over 50 institutions in some of our 30 currently running projects and this will be good. We will tap into all the people, number one. Number three, there are some of the other Amara Global initiatives which will tap into this and actually use this fiscal infrastructure, including PADI, the Pan-African Decarbonization Institute, which has brought together researchers from five countries and nine research institutions, including Ghana, Morocco, Reminex in Morocco, Lumumbashi in, in DRC, Zambia, Copperbelt University and University of Zambia, then Vets University in Johannesburg and University of Cape Town in South Africa. Um, we are, where are we? We are looking for funders. We are, have a mix of funders. We are drawing into our own membership base, number one. Number two, we are talking to governments. Number three, we are talking to fund um, managers. Number four, we are also talking to people who would want to put in their money at, at a uh, discuss rate and get their monies back. So this is the exciting news we are sharing and I think it's long overdue and we are putting all hands on deck. We have involved all the key people and we are open to more involvement with anybody who wants to partner with us to get this, this laudable idea into a reality. Thank you very much.